Hello friends, I'm Dr. Pallavi Chaturvedi and I'm talking from Kandivli. I represent HHF and uh, today I'm going to take you to another level of nitric acid, a uh, part 3 we will be doing and in this part you will see the sensitivity. We have already uh, dealt with how um, his way of thinking is and the way he's been raised up. See the sensitivity, sensitivity to noise, to no, water splashing, to car passing on the street, weeping on remonstrated, weeping from reproaches, weeping from sympathy of others, trifle sad, children weeping with least worry, children in whimpering night, you know, see this part of nitric acid and how he transforms into a very uh, hard hearted person. If you see the rubrics like brutality, if you see like cynicism, despair, rage, bordering with cursing and uh, bordering on rage, despair bordering on rage, cursing and imprecations, wishing bad for others and doing bad to others. You know, uh, going into cynical, cynical is again, you know, they don't believe that there is any sincerity possible or any good virtue possible in another human being. So, you know, they have, they feel that, you know, everyone is very selfish in this world and there is no purpose of uh, thinking good for anyone else. So, a delusion wealth person who is uh, sympathetic and who is so much affectionate and going out of the way giving love and, uh, you know, uh, uh, he comes to the last rubric, the last part of the journey of nitric acid where he comes into prostration of mind nursing after. Only two remedies are there, nitric acid and zinc men. So you see how our masters when they taught us nitric acid, they always taught us in a, uh, uh, a rhythmic form like you know from nursing to cursing is the journey of nitric acid. So first he nurses, he has those values, those virtues, those principles of goodness, of uh, believing in goodness. But you know how much ever high a person is in his morals, Anything is breakable in this world and so are the morals of nitric acid. Once they break, he goes into the other extreme. If you see uh, nowadays the web series, if you see the uh, K-drama and if you see uh, uh, the other uh, movies which are coming in Hollywood also, you will see a lot of crime happening and you will see the real painful stories highlighted on screen. All those uh, movies and all the web series and all crime scenes, everything is reflecting these uh, intricacies of nitric acid end stage, the fatalistic, fatalistic that you know ev all events are inevitable, nobody can avoid it, there has to be a fatal end to everything. So their belief system changes drastically, they feel that nothing good is going to come out of it, so what's the point in putting any effort? So they just believe that it's going to be bad and, and they believe in brutalistic behavior like you know being very harsh, how the harsh upbringing has been. They saw that in spite of being good to others, I, I tried to change ways but nothing worked out and so they also become harsh to others. So extreme form of cruelty, of violence to other humans. Then there is a nihilistic uh, viewpoint where you know uh, again uh, nihilism is of uh, two parts you know two, si two sides uh, uh, same like we say one coin has two sides so nihilism is again having two sides where they feel that everything is you know meaningless again there can be no truth there can be no morality there can be no values no knowledge no objective truth to whatever I am doing or whatever a good person can do because it is not valued, it is not reciprocated well and he turns into nihilistic that there is no point in anything, in nothingness where we say. So nihilism, Buddha has also said lots about nihilism where uh, a person is, you know, there, as we say that there can be neither good nor bad, just in moderation is nihilism, okay. And uh, neither being too rich nor being uh, not uh, being carried away by greediness nor being carried away by you know, being avarice or saving a lot. What are you going to? You at the end you are just going to die with nothing. So that is also nihilism where you uh, 
uh, sacrifice and you give away all your wealth to people and you say that you know I'm going to stay like this now and they go on the path where they say they want to stay uh, in a spiritual manner they want to live spiritually so that is also nihilism but this nihilistic attitude where they feel that nothing is going to work out now nothing is going to happen so just let me be me and let me just destroy everything so this is how where <clears throat> there is a disproportionate thought process between what he valued and now how the world is operating they feel they are don't they don't think about me so why should i think about them so this kind of attitude uh, develops and then you know uh, there are the sensitivity again you will see and that is why if you see the material medic of nitric acid for the corrosiveness for the uh, offensiveness like you know acids the prostration is very very uh, much evident in uh, in all the acids so is in nitric acid the uh, prostration of nitric acid it develops out of cares out of nursing and in nursing what is happening you know he is giving and giving and giving but in return he is not getting anything so he goes into this extreme form like you know there was a patient he was having uncontrolled diabetes mellitus and he had that sciatica pain where he was told that he is developing diabetic neuropathy and uh, this man when he came to me he is a old man like you know in his late uh, uh, 50s or early 60s okay so when he came to me the way they talk you know it is not um, generally a moderate human being will not go into do, doing those uh, heinous crimes but how will you perceive that this is nitric acid and they have this nihilistic trait in them they have that fatalistic trait in them that cynicism that pessimistic outlook towards society and towards others how will you recognize that you know you will recognize them through uh, rubrics of uh, because the corrosion is there you know uh, how ulcers it is given for ulcers it is given for those bleeding warts those cracks developing and those uh, you know they have uh, what do you say keloids which are uh, irritating and bleeding keloids okay so those things which are very sensitive to touch very very sensitive to caressing they don't uh, uh, like caressing at all anger from caressing and touch aversion to caressing aversion to they have and then the moment somebody tries to caress them caress meaning pacify them the anger inside they just repel them they just go away i don't want you so how do you recognize this you know so while i was taking his case how do you get a hint that there is a trait you know everything need not be evident in your cases you know there has to be a recognition of the trait factor of a remedy so then uh, when i asked him who all are there and you know uh, so uh, his family and everything he said but the way he was talking was not very pleasant to my ears you will see this kind of shrink shrinked uh, face when he talks about people he is not happy with them like when a person talks about their family member there is a glow a constant glow but he is not a happy man because uh, there is a rubric cheerful never so clinically how will you identify a nitric acid trait in an individual i am telling you that so then i asked him is there any stress or are you angry about something so uh, he said that angry about something there are so many things to be uh, angry about i said okay uh, can you uh, discuss something with me which has affected you so much so he's like uh, there are so many things that that have affected me and um, i have no one to share with i don't talk to anyone now so they close themselves they go into their own shell and then they don't want to discuss it with anyone because you know there is a side where rebels against post poltice and abusive and then delirium raging delusion uh, raging and quarrelsome and then uh, you know dogs delusion dogs attack him gnawing his flesh and bone it shows the kind of fear and anxiety in him that so much people have taken out of him and that is what uh, uh, instigates nitric acid anger in them now then uh, embittered is the uh, shade that you will see in him okay so then in this embittered uh, side when i 
kind of perceived then he said you know i have no friends i don't talk to anyone there's no use of uh, going anywhere so then i was like what happened has somebody someone hurt you like uh, they are quite open to talk about their problems if you are interested to listen so be interested in what they have to say they are pains okay so then he narrated that you know he has uh, he had a very good friend circle and in his late years you know he had his friend circle right from school time onwards and they all stayed in mumbai they all used to meet often they used to have family gatherings and in that some one friend played a political kind of game and uh, he ruined his business means something happened and then uh, he took away all the money in friendship from him and because of that one friend he got so much offended that other friends also knew about it why didn't they say anything to him why didn't they take my side and from that time onwards he just cut off from all the friends like they were around 10 to 15 of them so much united over the years he's like i don't talk to any one of them i am not interested and uh, this is how you know that anger he has he's withholding okay there is a rubric uh, hatred unmoved by apologies now when this rubric when this stage comes you know it is said nitric acid is in psychotic myism carbo nitrogenoid myism so what is all this you know they hold on to these grudges they hold on to these angers and so unmoved is what you know unmoved is again staying in the same position not disturbed by any kind of movement or any motion around they are not means friends are calling up also they are trying to approve no i don't want so then what happened you know one day he asked for appointment and i said um, see uh, uncle i am not available today you please come tomorrow then next day what happened i missed that it was a sunday and i just said uh, tomorrow and then actually i meant monday so he got so offended you know he did not say anything but on monday i recalled that you know uh, this uncle had to come and i uh, just postponed his appointment because saturday was booked and sunday was a holiday then monday from my end only i called him and asked that are you coming today so his tone was like no i can't come now i'm like okay uncle i should i send medicine to your house so he's like okay and then what he did you know i sent the medicine to his house and uh, the courier guy called him that you know i am reaching to your place um, you should uh, just open the door i have been ringing the bell and that courier guy bichara he called me to say that doctor is not opening the door so then uh, i was like okay let me speak to him because i had spoken and sent to the courier guy so then i spoke to him and i said uh, why don't you open the door uh, he is just standing outside he's like i'm not at home now i have gone out i was like okay uh, then what to do then uh, i said okay uh, you know you just keep the medicine at the main door a uh, main gate and uh, i i spoke to the watchman so watchman se maine pucha has he gone somewhere i asked him the watchman said no he is at home only so you know you see the anger he withheld for two days consecutively that i could not see and we could not coordinate and after he has received the medicines and i paid for the courier charges he said thank you very much for the medicine on the next day so you know there is a sensitive side in them but there is a hard heartedness there is a cold side to them which is very very cold till the time you go and approach them so uh, you know one one of the friends of uh, dr milind rao sir uh, he was a very fast friend of sir and he would come very often to meet him but he also had those skin issues and very bad skin unhealthy skin okay so then uh, i used to observe him when i saw the prescription was nitric acid so i saw his uh, you know behavior and how he's talking he was so soft to talk to but so hard exterior means uh, like how policemen are or how bodyguards are that is how he appeared but from inside he was a very soft person and he laughed like they both laughed and they used to have a good time 
but he was deeply hurt and deeply uh, you know affected by all the things uh, that were going on in his life so this is the appearance how they ha have and then they go into indifference and everything now there is a very nice rubric uh, because you know in conducting this kind of session i had studied the rubrics in depth and i really thank you all to listen and subscribe to my video uh, because uh, all this gives me more encouragement to study better so there is a rubric fear of hair falling out delusion of hair uh, falling out you know losing one's hair fear of fear that she is losing so hair is again you know what hair is again telling that hair signifies what it signifies a person's uh, vitality the health the sexuality the dignity some people they don't cut their hair ever in life because they want to be one with nature some people shave off their hair to show that they are also uh, going into grief or they are trying to connect with the eternal so hair is signifying a lot of things now when like how we have thinning in uh, sulfur the wealth of uh, nitric acid is his hair you know when he feels that he is losing out on hair so his hair is his shine his wealth is his sympathy the way he gives to others the way he nurses others and when uh, there is no appreciation you know if i have good hair we have so many hair shampoos and so many advertisements related to hair so what all are we uh, doing when we see good hair of uh, uh, actresses and actors we say oh wow he is an impressive personality so nitric acid loses out on that kind of appreciation uh, towards his work he loses on the out on out on his own strength and he becomes a malicious hard hearted and abusive and going into a lawsuit again and again that same problem is lingering on for years and years and he have to keep battling it out and thinking that why when will this life go to an end so this is all about nitric acid and uh, i just hope it helps you to apply in your clinical practice uh dr mithun has also uh, shared one lovely case of nitric acid if you can go on our facebook page and listen to it uh where the hatred he carried on and he was like i i, I did not go to my best friend's wedding uh, because he hurt him in some way and he withheld that anger and that anger uh, destroys nitric acid so don't keep anger inside you for anyone or for anything better is go into you know your exercise your form of uh, venting it out and letting it out and emerge or indulge yourself in the ocean of knowledge and in the ocean of wherever you feel the best or happy because there's no point in holding on anything in life just go with the flow so thank you so much bye bye take care and uh, do share like and comment and subscribe bye